Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the February 20th, 2023 supermoon in Pisces. Now, there's going to be a supermoon in Pisces on February 20th, 2023. A supermoon is like a regular new moon, but the effects of it may be more pronounced, intensified, and amplified. It also will be in closer proximity to the earth than a regular new moon. The new moon in astrology can be a time where one has an abundance and surfeit of energy and uh, whatever is frivolous and superfluous may be discarded. Whatever held you back previously may no longer be there. The fact this is a super moon as opposed to a regular new moon, that energy may even be more pronounced and intensified at this time. Now, this is a time of uh, new beginnings, uh, time for procrastination and hesitation may be over. Um, with this new moon being in Pisces, it may be the start of something that may uh, originally or initially have been seen as uh, unattainable or something one could only imagine. Um, this could be an opportune time for embarking on a new project or endeavor. You may feel uh, exceptionally rejuvenated and revitalized at this time. Now this could, um, the new moon supermoon energy uh, could manifest in very uh, spontaneous and extemporaneous energy. Uh, the new moon is introspective. It is um, connected with the planning stage of something uh, and the full moon can rep reflect the culmination of this and what may start out with the new moon in uh, Pisces, um, you know, dream may manifest into a full moon in Virgo reality. Now, the thing about the new moon supermoon is, is that it may uh, collectively impact everyone, but especially those with a Pisces or Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Uh, Pisces because it's going to be in their own sign and the zodiac sign Cancer of course because Cancer is ruled by the moon and is simply impacted strongly by all transits and phases of it and you know this could be attributed as to why the zodiac sign Cancer can be so moody fickle and temperamental the transit can be very um, intensified uh, if it makes a conjunction to one's Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Now, the transit um, you know, could be um, you know, the start for some of more forgiveness, you know, compassion, altruism, idealism, um, imagination, or simply seeing the whole picture in something. And it could even be connected with sacrificing. Um, it could be the beginning of a Piscean you know, job or profession, and I would say especially if it falls in the second, uh, sixth, or tenth house in one's chart, which I consider is one of the money houses in astrology. And um, it could be the start, you know, some examples, the start of a job associated with addiction counseling, photography, um, dancing, poetry, anesthesiology, chemistry, uh, prison work, or even the metaphysical, which includes astrology. Um, could, um, you know, the thing about this too is that this may take on, you know, this is not, you know, su it's a super moon as opposed to regular new moon, so it may take on more significance um, the position once starts a Piscean position at this time it may be more sustained and protracted and may even give you know more money than originally anticipated now the thing you know about this too it's also it's important to look at the house this falls in in one's chart is this could impact its delineation and interpretation now for me I check this out Hold on a moment, people. I believe this is in my 11th house. Yes, it's going to fall. In my case, it's going to fall in the 11th house. And you know, some ways this may manifest for me. It could be uh, the beginning of something you know, 
again connected with the metaphysical which includes astrology which is Pisces um, goal or aspiration which is the 11th house it could be also another way it might be expressed for me it could be the start of expressing sacrifice which is Pisces and something group related which is the 11th house and um, it may be you know just simply giving more and astrological groups as some examples now I would say to um, you know, this falls in, uh, I would say, especially the first or the sixth house in one's chart, though the new moon, you know, super moon, is generally considered auspicious. I believe it could be the start of some Piscean health related issue. Um, there may be some, you know, issue with the toes, feet, immune, or, or lymphatic system for some, the pineal gland. You know, it could be, you know, some. Um, you know, as far as since this is a super moon as opposed to a regular new moon it could be some like a moderate issue like a moderate you know foot sprain you know some bruising and swelling on it you know it may be something a little more serious as opposed to a regular new moon but i wouldn't say you know anything on it you know generally speaking nothing is traumatic you know it's like say you know a full moon you know like a lunar eclipse or something you know that would be something I would say more serious on average and now if this transit falls in one's fifth house so it could be the beginning you know, maybe somebody embarks on a Piscean sport you know, some examples are uh, let's say water polo swimming fishing canoeing or surfboarding um, it could be the start of a Piscean game or hobby such as a fantasy game um, something with hypothetical um, you know simulated sports matchups could be an example uh, Pisces is about the imagination um, and the fifth house is associated with sports now another thing too it's also important is to look at the aspects this makes to points on your chart is this could impact how it may affect you hold on again people Just saying um, what it's aspecting in my uh, own chart. Well, this is going to, um, the thing about this is it's going for me, it's going to make a conjunction to my natal north node. And this can manifest in a number of ways. Uh, one way it may be expressed, it could be the beginning of the future, which is the north node um, associated with the metaphysical which is Pisces, a goal or aspiration, or, you know, something, it also could be expressed in the um, you know, start of having to confront or address, which is the North Node, you know, maybe an unrealistic, which is Pisces, a uh, goal or aspiration, or even a deceptive or duplicitous, which is Pisces, it could be a friend, which is the 11th house, being able now, maybe at this time, to distinguish fact from fallacy. Uh, as far as a friend or friends go at this time um, and the thing about this too is um, the new moon is going to fall on degree uh, Pisces now as far as saving symbols go uh, this degree may indicate uh, that in order to achieve something um, it may require laborious effort and um, and guard against um, you know, becoming overly uh, lackadaisical and apathetic. It's important to remember to capitalize on your abilities at this time and use them to your full uh, potential. You know, let's say if you're embarking on a new project or endeavor, you know, just make sure you know, that avarice is not you know, strongly connected with it um, because people can become cognizant of it. and it can be to uh, the person's detriment. And also be careful regarding, I would say, um, possible volatile and dangerous areas at this time. Make sure you take um, necessary precautions you know, if you're going to a place that has a high crime rate. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, and we'll learn and say, stay well.